welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt. The man behind the camera is The Beard. The Beard. And in today's video, I'm going to show y'all an easy copycat KFC famous bowl recipe. Comes together in like 20, 30 minutes. Super simple. So you need mashed potatoes, which is perfect because I have leftover mashed potatoes for Mother's Day. Popcorn chicken. You want to go ahead and pre-cook popcorn chicken according to the directions on the bag. I just got mine from Walmart. A can of corn. You can also use frozen. Cheese. I'm doing a cup of cheddar. Mild cheddar. I don't know. Whatever I had in the refrigerator. And then some brown gravy. So all you want to do is have your oven preheated to 350. Your mashed potatoes. And I'm making a mess. Corn. Layer your corn. Drain it if you're using um, canned. canned corn. And then your popcorn chicken. Now you can, if you want, cut it in half. You can use chicken tenders, cut them up, whatever you want to do. And this is uh, about a full bag, almost. No, it's like a little over half. You leave a couple for me to stack okay, on that spot. Really for the beer. And then cheese. You're just going to sprinkle your cheese on top. Keep in mind everything's already cooked. So you're just really warming and heating everything up. So then you just want to sprinkle your cheese on it, put it in the oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese is melted. While you're doing that, make your gravy just like two or three minutes before it comes out of the oven. Then you pour it on and enjoy. So this is going into the oven for 10 minutes. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so it's actually been about 11 minutes because Bird and I kind of lost track of time and then we had to make gravy. But you just want to pull it out. Oh, God, I'm going to get burnt and burnt. Uh, you just want to make sure your cheese is all melty. And this is, we're doing packet gravy. You can do box gravy and jar gravy. Or make cheese. your own. Or make your own. This is what we used. Just great value. We got, um, Follow the directions, and now the beer is going to pour it over. And that is how you make Toppy Cat KFC bowls. You don't have to use it all, honey. In case the boys want more, we want more. We actually, what we did was we took our kettle and heated the water, put the gravy packets in here so we didn't have to use the stove top, and just mixed it. But this is Toppy Cat KFC bowls. Super simple, super easy. Not a lot of time, not a lot of prep work. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do you want to show my chickens? Yes. Okay, so hold that thought because I want to show you our chickens. Hey guys, so here's our chickens. Hello girls. Hello girls. The one hey, right here is our rooster. His name is Frank. We have other bait. We have two other bainies. They're little chickens, but they're broody right now, so they're in the box. But this is the rest of our girls. We have phantoms, silver laced wine dots, Rhode Island reds, Rhode Island reds, olive eggers, and an Aracana. And I don't know. And uh, red. How many breeds do we have? Red something like three or four. Four. We've got several different breeds of chickens. As you can see. They were supposed to be Rhode Island Reds and Silver Laced Wine Dots, but uh yeah. So this is our Bantam Royal Rooster. King. This is a Rhode Island Red. The ones back there, they I are know. I don't know. That's yeah. a that's a gold lace wine dot right there. Which one? That guy. This the one? Right there. Silver lace wine dot? Gold gold lace. Gold lace wine dot. Yeah, that pretty one. And then we have our bantams that are broody. And then this is just their little, you know, home. But, here. Yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.